today's video we'll be going over recipes in a good order of appearance to build up your sushi restaurant over time. This will take you from the early game right through to the late game. And I picked out a few key easy recipes that are fairly straightforward to unlock and are really beneficial to actually have. So without further ado, let's get into it. When hiring employees, you'll want to get the staff Billy and Lou as soon as possible. Billy is a David Bowie looking type dude with the lightning bolt on his face. And Lou is this guy here. Apparently they both appear in flyer ads at um, Cook's the Bronze Rank. So apparently that should not be an issue. As do the other employees I recommend, but less so. Uh, which is Carolina and Itsuki, which I have to show you over here because she works at my branch restaurant. Basically, yeah, so if you get these four, they will unlock dishes later on. Now, it costs 53,615 gold to get an employee to level 15. That is relevant because you need to get all of them to level 15 to unlock the dishes. You want to also invest in your fish farm a bit, depending on what employees you have. I'll get into that. You want to level up the these employees to level 15 in this order. If you don't have that employee, skip it. Um, for example, so the first one you want to level up is Billy. Then if you have her, it's Suki. Then Lou. Then Carolina. First time one of these employees reach level 5, you will unlock this dish here, the Stellate Papa Nikogori. Which, although it's not a brilliant dish, I will say there is a purpose to it. And I'll get into that. So next thing next is, as I recommended in my other video about Beginner's Guide to Money Making, you want to do the Michael Bang event to get this dish here, the Tropical Fish Sushi set, and level that up as much as possible. Basically you want to level up both the puffer fish thing and that thing until you... So this way you can make enough money. The reason why this thing, the... I'm saying about the puffer fish thing, even though it's not that good a dish, is because this costs free rice, and it costs quite a lot of rice to level up. So, if you're a bit strained on the amount of rice you actually have, you can just substitute out this and put this in. So, although it's not as expensive, it still makes decent money. So, you can still put this on. This is very easy to make. All this stuff can be obtained in 0 to 50 meters range. Just dispatch someone on soy sauce if you have like spare employees that you're not using in your kitchen. Just send them out for soy sauce. And at that point, you should be able to make tons of this and not have to worry about this. Uh, like, yeah, as long as literally every die, if you're harvesting the agar at the top, you should be fine. Whereas this one may be a bit more hungry on the rice, but if you can get it leveled up to the level it is there, it will be really, really good for you. And now, at that point, that will help you raise the. 53,615 gold that you need to get the employees to level 15. Anyway, so the first employee that you want to level up is Billy. Now, if you're leveling up Billy, you'll eventually unlock at level 15 this dish here. So, as such, you want to actually level up the tanks that these are going to go in a bit, a bit as well, so you have some room in your fish farm to store these ingredients. So, say for example, when you level up Bill, when you're leveling up Billy, you know you get like a few upgrades into your fish farm on the 50 to 130 meters area and uh, 130 to 250 meter area. At that point, you can have all these fish in your farm, and if you keep quite a high amount of them, they'll breed very, very quickly, and you'll be able to level it up to this standard rather quickly, which will help you in turn with the rest of the stuff. The next person you'd want to level up if you have her is Itsuki. 
Now, what she'll unlock for you is the shark carriage, which, I mean, I never actually really used this dish, but it does seem like a good one in a sense of like, well, if you level up the night area of your fish farm, both the sharks go in there. All you got to do is do a bit of night fishing so you get a couple of these sharks to breed, maybe a few more if you are that way inclined. Then after that, as long as they're in your fish farm, you don't have to go night diving. So it will cut into your profits when you're trying to go night diving. But after that, it's a relatively easy dish to make. All it takes is olive oil, wheat, and these sharks. And obviously these sharks give quite a bit of meat when you capture them because their sharks are quite big. After that, you want to level up Lou because he unlocks this. As you can see, um, some of the fish are in Glacial Passage area, which is quite a bit later on. But hopefully you got your Crimson Fish rolled out er uh, earlier. You know, you already have um, a Tropical Fish Sushi set, so, you know, that's kind of still always going to be a good one to serve. Like, it's not that far behind some of the best dishes, so... It's not too horrible if you serve that because it works out. Then at that point, if you have like the Glacial Passage tank and the 50 to 130 meter tank is leveled up a little bit, it don't have to be maxed out. You know, you can store these fish in there. They'll breed quite a lot. Then you start dispatching on salt. Level up like, you know, you can level up this dish really easily at that point and get towards this standard here. Then finally, Carolina, she will unlock you this dish, which with the 0 to 50 meter area, you'll need to level up for her. But and also the glacial area. So the glacial area is quite late on, which is why this is last on the list. But it goes by the same principle as the free colored squid roast for 12 servings at maximum level. You only need one salt and like three of each stingray meat. Now these stingrays can be a bit tougher to farm because they breed less often but at the same time it's still a good dish and will put less strain on the squids. Yeah that's really all there is to it. Eventually I'll reach Diamond Cooks to rank where you can serve this because that unlocks at Diamond Cooks to rank but that's very late on into the game that you'll get that. This diamond is not easy to reach. It takes a lot of in game days. So in short, you want to level up Billy first. Definitely want to get hold of Billy because this dish is absolutely amazing. I'd argue that it's the best dish in the game just because of how easy it is to make. Like it's ridiculously easy to make at that point. Like. You're not restricted on anything. As you can see, I can make a thousand of them at my stage in the game, just because I've been using the fish farm. Um, that's obviously way more than I need, because I only need to serve five of them a night if I want to feed everyone. So by that logic, it would take me over 200 nights to get rid of all of this, which, as you probably guess, is not happening. Similar premise with this is that you can get a lot of mileage out of this dish, which is why I really like leveling up Lou as well, but he does require a bit later on because you need to be able to go to the Glacial Passage. Although the Glacial Passage isn't too far in, I would say, but it isn't exactly early on either. Which, uh, again, this one with Hitsuki, it really depends on if you want to do the night dives or not. And if you want to have her as an employee, because she does take a lot in pay. And also, she doesn't start out with the best stats. As in, she literally starts out with all ones as stats. So, and leveling up her doesn't really budge the stats much until the later levels. Don't get me wrong, she does get good. But it takes time. And at that point, her pay is rather quite high. That said, 
could be a worthwhile dish if you aren't deterred by that. Then Carolina will reinforce in the late game with this dish, and this way you can serve like this, that, that, and that, and that will feed 42 people. So you just need to find three more dishes somewhere, which could be a lot of things really, like this vegetable sushi that is unlocked quite early on. So yeah, the vegetable sushi is unlocked by MC Sammy. Not to be confused with DJ Sammy. And that will be quite useful. And also this, if you level up Dre to level 5, he will actually unlock you this dish. And this dish is the best one portion dish in the game. As in, well the other dish has multiple portions. So you go over on feeding people. Whereas that one is still a one portion dish and is the best, basically. So you can get Dre, because Dre is also a pretty good employee. Dre is, comes from the higher bracket of employees, so you'd have to at least be gold rank and do an internet ad to get him. So at that point, you know, but again, at that point then, you can then serve this, this, actually I'll put them on the menu, because, so it goes in order of that, this, this, that, and then, just slap on this, three, it gets plussed up to four, that's kind of annoying, but whatever, maybe add them all one at a time. But yeah, at that point you have like a full menu of 1,480 pretty much, with a little bit of 1,400 below it. That's pretty much the tactic. And that's about it for this video. Have a good day.